you doing, Fran? Fishing. What are you fishing for, Fran? My specs. Why are your specs in the canal, Fran? Because of your dog. <laughs> My dog. Trying to get out in from in there, and the dogs are trying to get out, and then the cover came down and then knocked my specs off my head. That's because the specs were on top of your head, isn't it? Yes, it is. So no luck then. No. Um, what else did the magnet come out for this morning then? Yeah, I dropped the washing up brush in the canal. Yeah. The environmentally friendly washing up brush. There's something there. You hear that? Yeah. It's not picking it up though. Oh dear. I think that's that. I didn't like them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I've had them for a year. So you're going to squint at me now f until the opticians no, are open in I've three months' time. Another nice pair I'll have to wear. Yeah. No. Anyway, it doesn't really matter because I know every inch of this towpath along here. <laughs> I don't need my distance specs anymore because I can. S I know everything that's there. Oh well. It's either that or you get your trousers off and uh, jump in. <laughs> and nobody wants to see that. What? Might take a little bunch of forget me not as back with me. The boat. What's for lunch, Fran? Leftovers. <laughs> We've got um, a really good little recipe I want to share with you. Again, like everything that we do, it's very, very simple, very quick, and great for boating and for your leftovers. Um, we just make a flatbread, um, which is made in about 10 minutes from scratch and anything that we've got left over really goes into a, a wrap in this flatbread for lunch the next day. Sometimes we just use them to accompany a meal. So I'm so going to just going in it today? show you, oh chilli, chilli last night, chilli wraps for lunch and it looks like it might be chilli with jacket potatoes for dinner tonight <laughs> but we can't afford to waste any. Strong white bread flour or whole meal but it needs to be the strong flour again i have made it with ordinary plain flour they're just not as good so if you're desperate um just use any flour but strong is better i'm not going to give measurements because you'll just have to work out how much you need for how many people basically you have the flour and then you mix some oil with some water I always make too much of this. I should really learn to measure things out. But um, for that much water, probably about a tablespoon of oil. Mix that in. And just mix this in until you've got what forms into a dough. an old uh, Christmas pudding bowl you're using there, Fran. It is. Nothing Very resourceful. <laughs> Nothing gets wasted. So that's probably about right. Now if you've got time, it's a good idea just to put a plate over this, turn it over and leave it for 20 minutes just for the water and the oil to mix in with the flour. I often do this at the last minute so I don't have time as I haven't today. So we then 
just going to roll this out a little bit into a dough. I'm going to make two nice big breads. You can see I've got a proper rolling pin these days, no longer a wine bottle. Thanks to Richard's sister, we haven't got the excuse of having to drink wine to have a wine a rolling pin these days. This is a little bit sticky because I haven't left it to rest for a while and it's better if you can leave it to rest but it really doesn't matter too much. And as you can see mine are not going to be perfectly round. It's rustic food. So we've got a really hot pan, I've just got a smidgen of oil in there just literally to coat it to stop it sticking. And we just pop the bread on the almost dry pan and it will start to go a little bit translucent and a little bit bubbly within minutes. Mm -hmm. And I would say that it's just about done now, ready to fill and eat. So now we're done. Um, we haven't put any seasoning in these. If you prefer to put salt or garlic or coriander seeds in them, you can do whatever you want. We don't eat a lot of salt, so there's nothing else in there. Um, and sometimes I would just, in the summer we have these just with salad in them, to be honest, just salad leaves as well. That's a really quick little lunch. Four. every day listen to the birds take in the flora and the fauna yeah the canal is just there up on that bank behind us and uh, beautiful spot this we're not quite sure what it is it's just a big hollow there's a tiny stream at the bottom of it but it looks like the bank has just um, fallen away or washed away down here but in the shade all around by the river over there it's just covered with wild garlic, absolutely smothered, isn't it, with wild garlic. Yeah. You can smell it even as we're sitting here. And if you come down in the evening, the bird song is just amazing. And uh, it's just, it's been a really lovely little peaceful spot. Just What's the come. other name for uh, wild garlic? Ramsons, or vernacular name is stink bombs. <laughs> and other things. And apparently places like Ramsgate and Ramsey were named Ramsey, after... Ramsey, Ramsden Heath. Named after areas of wild garlic, who knew, eh? Well, there you are. So we're in week three, well, coming up, in, just gone past week three, haven't we, of lockdown? We've just, I think it's just been, I don't know if it's officially announced, but we've got another three weeks to go now. That's what they're rumoured on BBC. Uh. But the changes in three weeks, when we first came here, there were no leaves out on the trees. Uh, we were looking out, you could see all the countryside and horizons around, and within that time, everything's gone green. And it's, it's been a benefit because I've never been aware of every little stage of spring happening. Mm. Quite often you say, oh, spring's coming, and then spring's been and gone, and you didn't notice it happening. But we're really noticing it, aren't we? Yeah, it's absolutely lovely. It's really like it's in slow motion, isn't it? Yeah, 
Yeah. So you've been down here taking photographs of your latest weaving. Yeah, I don't have, when I weave things, I don't have one of these lovely model things. I only have rich to model them on, but it doesn't do well in a pink scarf. <laughs> so um, I quite like just to use the natural landscape. So I've been down here taking photographs. That's going on your Etsy site. Yep. Listed below. And uh, nothing else to report really, has it? It's just been... Uh, Pretty uneventful. We did wake up this morning with full intentions. You're feeling much, much better, aren't you, of getting the uh, tick list out and doing some jobs. But uh, the top of the list, really, we want to still get the outside of the boat painted. Mm. But the towpath just isn't wide enough to allow for us to be out there painting while people are walking past, is it? And it is so busy, isn't it, the towpath? Yeah. Cyclists, runners, walkers. Yeah. So we've come for a walk instead. So come out and to join them. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a problem, is it? One of our um, patrons of the channel and friend, uh, Derek, has done a lovely little graphic of our boat, hasn't he? Yeah. And uh, watch it come across the screen now. And um, so thank you very much, Derek. That's uh, really appreciated. And we're going to put it on T-shirts and mugs. And uh, some of you might have already seen our merchandise listed below the video on, the, on your computer or uh, your handheld device, whatever you're looking at. And uh, I'll put the link on the bottom of the screen uh, to our merchandise page. So uh, if you're of a mind, go and buy a mug. <laughs> <laughs> we a, haven't got our ugly mugs on the mugs, have we? Put a, gallon no, just... put a gallon in the tank, as they say. So if you've got a camp van, caravan or a boat and you want a nice little graphic of it done, uh, there's a link below to his uh, email and uh, give him a, a buzz and see what he can do for you. Yep. So I really appreciate that, Derek. It's lovely. Thank you. So what else? We've, um, we still haven't gone up and moved through the locks. We've only just been and got water again. And we're just sort of hanging on until the last minute when we need to go and, and uh, clean out the toilet tank. And we'll do that at the very last minute. Um, the locks guess, are, what, a mile ahead of us? Two yeah, miles ahead? Yeah, a mile. And I guess we're going to have to do that. Uh, it's Wednesday today, Thursday today, and I guess we're going to have to do that over the weekend, I think. Sometime. Oh, but we can't. Why not? It's your birthday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> going to be an odd one this year, isn't it? It is an odd one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an even number. <laughs> oh, very funny. <laughs> Next year is a big even number. We'll be moving the boats in the next few days, so we'll have some lock action coming up yes. next time around. <laughs> so thanks for watching, just a short little video today. And uh, if you haven't already, please hit the uh, subscribe button. And uh, if you want to get notification of the next video when it's out, you can press the bell icon. And give us a thumbs up. That'd be lovely, thank you. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. All at Floating Our Boat. Thank you, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.